This is the Rumble Devil fruit. Mmm, delicious. Tastes expensive. And this fruit is used by a guy who calls himself a god. So today we are going to become him to awaken the Rumble fruit. But that's not all because we are also going to need to get his pole staff thing and awaken that as well. And we are currently missing two things, I think. Number one, his outfit. And number two, his actual pole thing. So to begin with, we need to come to the first sea. And you don't want to know how long it took me to get here just using lightning dashes. And now we talk to this guy here called Yoshi. Again, I don't know why there's a Mario character in blocks fruits. But he'll sell us this Tomoe ring, which I already have. And now we have got the immaculate god drip. We are ready. Just kidding. We actually need to go all the way to the top of the Skylands and now get the pole, which would have been amazing to get beforehand as it would have saved me so much time. So instead, we're going to have to teleport using our godly lightning powers, which I've somehow already got 160 mastery for. So if I defeat this guy who's like an imposter. Oh, yeah, this guy is sus. Throw him out <laughs> with lightning. I forgot what all my moves do. Sky beam. Okay. Wait, that seems a bit OP. Rumble drag. Kind of terrible. Lightning dash. Boink. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Sky thunder. Ooh, wait, I'm kind of OP. And we've currently got 160 mastery. And we're going to need 250 to get all the moves. And then we can try awakening the fruit. And to do that, we're going to need the, the staff, which he did not drop. Wait, just to be sure, do I have the staff? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I've got the pole. Yes, I have the stick with mastery 85 as well. Wow, I completely forgot. Okay, but now that we've got all the necessary drip, we can head all the way back to the first sea and begin the grind for mastery. But luckily, we need less than 100 mastery to get our final move. Now, this devil fruit is really cool. But like, why is it called? the rumble. I'm made out of lightning, not rumble. And now that I think about it, this fruit is OP. I'm literally lightning and they've got metal weapons. You know what that means? The power of conductivity. That's right. We're fighting with science out here. Pole attack. That did 49 damage. That's huge. Oh, wait, no. 58. We're upgrading. I think I'm just going to stick to like hitting these guys with as much lightning as possible because my other moves are just terrible. I mean, I know these enemies are like 200 levels below me, but I feel kind of OP. Let's go see if stone's around. Stone will be a good test. Aha! Stone, you're finished. Lightning versus rock. Lightning works pretty well, actually. Wow. I just completely missed my sky beam. How are you meant to hit that accurately? Wait, never mind. I hit the sky beam. I'm like a human stun gun, but like way more deadly. Who is this guy? Don't you even think about trying to steal my kill or I will end you because I am a god. Boom. Oh, he dying. Boom. Rumble mastery level up. Who is this guy with his glowingness? They're in the presence of a god. You think that's allowed? <laughs> I missed. Hang on. Sky beam. I missed again. I should probably go find some more bosses to defeat because we are only on 182 mastery. I think we could take down the island empress with this fruit. Wait, why is she in the floor? <laughs> what is she doing? Love awakening question mark? What is it? <laughs> What's going on? I hope when this fruit awakens, I get a better, like, dash because it just doesn't go far enough at the moment. It's just terrible. This is really not easy. Dash! See, that was pathetic. The only thing more pathetic than that dash is the fact that you haven't subscribed yet. Rumble Dragon, Sky Thunder! And with that, we got the mastery that we needed and this brought us to 195. Honestly, that is not good enough. We need more. Ooh, there's a leopard guy. The strongest devil fruit versus mine. Maybe I could win. Where are you going, leopard guy? <laughs> I'm gonna challenge you with my stupid rings and my stupid little pole. You're finished. See, look, he's afraid. He's a running... Where is he? even going. Get back. You aren't ready for this. Boom! Take this. Lightning attack. He's got observation on. Oh no, he's become a furry. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Leopard guys are not to be messed with. I walked into that like a noob. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Rumble dragon. I hit him. Awaken! You're done now, leopard guy. You're done now. Where do you think you're running to? Sky beam! My pole. Wait, I just realized my pole does damage now. It's still terrible, though. I will defeat you. Get over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quick. Rumble attack. No. I'm so dead. Oh, I hit him with this. And then a sky beam. Boom. I got it. Wait. I got finished off by that guy. Bro, I was having my epic god duel using my rumble powers, and then I got destroyed. That's so sad. Well, back to grinding. That's mastery 209. And there's mastery 249. I'm so close. Okay. It's time to go stun a minion with lightning. You're done. Ice cream chef. You might be like 500 levels above me, but I don't care. Sky beam. Oh, yeah. I can see the mastery now. Rumble dragon. Where'd he go? I didn't realize he's like that. He just did a teleport behind you moment. That was crazy. Anyway, he's done. Rumble dragon. He is still alive. What? Hang on. Sky beam. 
Yes, Rumble Mastery 250, which means we've got the final move. Wait, I need to find a worthy group of enemies to test out Thunder Bomb on. Like, this just sounds like it's gonna do damage. I can already tell. This area over here is perfect. I see so many enemies. You, you, you over there, you also over there. Despite the fact that I'm made out of literal lightning, they can still hit me. But how about a Thunder Bomb? Oh my god, I'm charging it up. I just, wait, I did not, why is it over there? I thought I was charging it up, but nothing happened. Attempt number two. Why is the cooldown so long. Bro, I could have killed all of these enemies seven times in the time this cooldown is going down. Okay, here we go. Thunder bomb! Take this. Boom! Oh, wow. Ooh, the damage! Okay, this fruit is really cool. I like the power of giant electric balls. It's too OP. But now that we've got the rumble mastery, we can try and awaken all of its moves. And for this one, I can sacrifice a smoke fruit, and this should be good enough. So if we go normal, and then... It's all the way on the last page. Yeah, rumble. There it is. Trade. Boom, we got a key. Now, this first awakening move that I get better be actually OP, because I am so weak right now. I, like, I didn't even take out that guy! Okay, I did not want to have to do this so early, but thunder bomb! Wait, the enemies are dead. <laughs> I missed. That was so anticlimactic. I think we might be able to manage getting through all of these weak enemies, but the boss is going to be the real issue. And also these little spiky boys, they're going to be a big issue as well. Island number two. Wait, oh, this looks familiar. I swear this is like somewhere else in the game, right? They've just copy pasted this straight into the raid and like, yep, now fight against all the enemies here, which I will gladly do with my brand new move. <laughs> this move has a lot of stuns, actually, which makes sense because I am made out of lightning. Wow, I'm actually more build different than I thought. Rumble Dragon. See, look at that. Basically insta-kill. Oh, that guy's made out of lightning. Too bad. Island 2 cleared. Only three more to go. You know what? I'm a literal god right now. I don't need to fight with these enemies down there. They're too weak for me. I'll just stay up here like Batman. Look at them trying to reach me, but they just can't. Island number four, and I'm already beat. Wait, it should be illegal. How did he stun me? I'm lightning. <laughs> that makes no sense. How are you hitting me? Your name is Shocker, and I'm literal lightning. Like, his electricity should be weaker than mine, so, like, how is he hurting me? I don't need sleep. I need answers. Maybe he has hacky? <laughs> That's the only logical explanation I can think of. But I guess we'll just keep on fighting these guys and then we'll get to the final island. There it is. The final island. And there's a giant axolotl swimming over there. <laughs> kind of cursed to look at. But this is where we're going to fight the fake god. You know, this is like god 2.0 over here. Oh no. Oh no. Can I even make it? I got sniped by a random guy. Where's the boss? I don't even see him yet. You're an improved version of me. Rumble master. That'll be me by the end of this video. He's not used anything crazy just yet. Honestly, this guy seems pretty easy. Okay, there we go. His minions defeated. Wait, this guy's light work. So much for being a rumble master. I hear like a giant rumbling noise. Oh, I'm being crushed. Bro, this lightning ball's way bigger than mine. I need it. Thunder bomb. Mine's still pretty cool, though, but it's definitely not as cool as his was. Congratulations, you completed the raid. It is time. Mysterious entity, I have arrived. Do you wish to awaken your Z foot? Yes, sir. My new move, lightning beast. You did pretty good in there. Who are you talking down to like you're not witnessing a god right now? The only way to test out my brand new move is on the boss himself. There's the boss. I don't think he's ready to see this lightning beast. I mean, even I'm not ready to see it. I haven't even seen it yet. Here we go, boss. You're finished. Lightning beast. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Seemed a bit anticlimactic, though. Maybe because there's, like, a giant Buddha in the way, so I can't actually see what it's doing. Let's see. I'm gonna jump up into the sky. Oh, I've got, like, lightning on my fist. Boom! Oh, wait, that's actually sick. It's got, like, kind of average damage, though. But I like it. And that's only the first one. So I'm super curious. Like, are we gonna get even more damaging moves the more we go? Let me awaken. Why is the raid not complete? Oh, this straggler. Yes. Time. My next move. Show me the damage. Ascension. Do you wish to awaken your F ability for 2k? That's kind of robbery, but sure. My new move is called Electric Flash. Oh, can I teleport further now? I want to go to that chest. Oh, <laughs> what? That wasn't even close. Charged it. Ooh, it has charges. No charges left. Give me a charge, game. We get three teleports. Me like it. But the true test, can we electric charge into someone and do damage? Like surely, right? I'm traveling through them as lightning. It only makes sense. Here I go. I'm scouting the area. Where are the enemies? There's one. I need a new enemy. That one's already dead. I found one. Electric flash. Wait. <laughs> it actually does damage. I didn't think that was going to happen. Ooh, best travel move in entire game. Bonk. <laughs> I just killed him with a lightning headbutt. I gotta try and do that again. Okay, we're gonna thunder bomb. And then when the damage is going crazy, boop. Wait, what? I didn't have any charges. Okay, hang on. Attempt two. Take some damage for me real quick, blacksmith. All right, here we go. Bonk. 
That's actually so good. I feel like this fruit has really good potential. Like you're made out of lightning. You can teleport multiple times. You can stun people. You're a god like in part time. This is pretty cool. However, as I'm starting to use this fruit more and more, I'm thinking of one giant problem that might cause this fruit to be like terrible. What happens when I try and attack a rubber fruit user? Like no way it's like the anime. I gotta test that at the end of this video. I refuse to believe it. Like I can electric dash into people's skulls. So a puny little rubber user isn't gonna stand a chance. One more raid later and we can get our next move. Greetings, mortal. Give me my X ability. 3,000 fragments. Okay, we're in business now. It's now called Thunderstorm. Honestly, it seems like it's gonna be pretty good. And once again, the best way to test it is gonna be on the boss himself. Now with a name like Thunderstorm costing 3,000 fragments, if I don't literally change the weather, I'm actually gonna be kind of disappointed. So here we go. Take this boss. Oh, I'm charging up. Thunderstorm. Wait, he covered it up with his own cool move. I couldn't even see it. All right, it's off cooldown. Here we go, here we go. Thunderstorm. Boom. Oh, wow. Wait, that's really fast. I summoned those clouds. Wait, I need to see that again. I'm going to use the move and then look straight up. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> I actually do change the weather. Cloudy with a chance of death. I like that. That's cool. Thunderstorm. It literally does as the name says. Me like. However, I don't think it's going to be as good as our upgraded sky beam because at the minute it's kind of small. So I wonder, are we just going to get like a huge beam? Dash attack. <laughs> Still my favorite dash. Lightning beast. So cool. Congratulations. I can spend more money now. Okay, mysterious entity. How much are you going to rob me for this time? 4K? Say less. Sky judgment. That sounds so edgy. I like it. We are straight up becoming the god of cringe with all of these moves. Well, let's sacrifice another spring fruit and take on the rumble raid again because then we'll get our next move, which is gonna be... Oh, maybe our final move. It might finally be time to become a god. That's what I'm talking about. So what does Sky Judgment actually do? Let's see. Test it on that guy. Bonk! Ooh, it's like a better version of the other one, but it's not like a complete beam. Honestly, I kind of prefer the other one. Like that one just summons some lightning. The other one was like a lightning column. And with this final mob complete, my ascension to being a god, it's done. I've done it. Mysterious entity, give me my final move. Please don't be too expensive. 5k for my V ability. Not enough fragments. Oh, you're kidding me. Fine blocks, fruits, you win again. 2,000 fragments acquired, and now we can ascend. Boom, we've got our final move called Thunderball Destruction. Now I got hit square in the face with that when I first did the raid so that I just know this move is going to be good. But next up, we got to awaken the pole to the second form. And to do that, when I ate the rumble fruit, I actually figured out exactly how I need to do that. And uh, my super accurate game knowledge says that I need to get the pole to 180 mastery, have fully awakened the rumble fruit, and then we need to beat the thunder god again. Honestly, that's too easy for somebody like me. Oh wait, fruit detected. Where, 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 where? As a god, I need to find every fruit I can get. We're going fruit hunting. Imagine we come over here and find this devil fruit and it's another rumble fruit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so good. I'm trying to manifest it into existence. That person... Whoa! Sonic? How did they do that? Straight up sliding. Okay, the fruit should be like somewhere over on this side of the map. I'm feeling lucky. It's over here somewhere. I can smell it. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting real close. It's got to be under like one of these trees, surely, right? Over here? Where is it? Further over here? Aha! I found it! What is it? That is definitely not a rumble fruit. Ew! Disgusting! Well, we need to get 100 more mastery to get pole V2. Now then, it's time to test out this insane pole damage. <laughs> Explosive cloud! I missed. Here I go, here I go. I got this. Big damage. Boom! 87. That's huge. This pole is actually kind of crazy. Wait, I can try my new move. Thunderball destruction. Look at the light. I'm holding it up. I look like I'm about to stomp on something. Let's go. Boom! 5.1k damage? Yo. I like this new move. I like it a lot. Where'd the Island Empress go? Okay, come on. This is gonna be big. Big. Please get to 150, 150, 150, 130. Okay, we're close. Only a couple more boss kills. And one tragedy later, I'm on 160 ma- Wait, it doesn't look right. Why is my bar like full, but not full? Well, either way, I'm on 160. So 20 more mastery to go. And then we can go and get pole V2. Okay, queen. I don't think you're ready. We're going into mortal combat. 180 damage. I should really change my stats, but I'm stubborn. I'm fighting this the hard way. That's right. 800 damage. Okay, right. We should probably just throw some thunderballs and stuff at her just in case. And then try and get the final hit. Oh, she's dying fast. This has never happened before. Usually it takes me like 20 minutes <gasps> to kill her. Oh my God, it's still risky for me though. I keep thinking I'm that guy, but I'm just not that guy. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I gotta get some hits. Let me get some hits. No, I didn't get any mastery. Well, we gotta go find a new boss. Another successful cake queen later. We're at 196, which is way more than enough. And we also got a new move called Lightning Rain, which does like a terrible version of what our awakened fruit does. But now we can go and get Paul V2. And I think the way that we get it is we actually 
actually have to go back into a raid. And we have to like beat the raid guy again. Because that's the only Thunder God I know. Unless we have to go back to the first C. Maybe. We'll start by just like trying to do the raid again. Because maybe that'll be the way I get the pole. Also, it just gives me a chance to try all my new cool moves. I just do so much damage now compared to the start. Okay, Thunder God. Round two. Wait, actually, no. Hang on. Isn't this like round seven or round six? I've beat him that many times. I've just lost count. But this time it's going to actually be an even match. Because we have the exact same moves. Oh, here he comes. He's spawning in. I've got a giant thunderball with your name on it, boss. Boom. 13k damage. You know, something light. Where is he going? Oh, I fell in the fill in the water. Sky judgment. Boom. Lightning rain. Got to use my new pole as well. 109 damage. Huge. When you've got two giant glow sticks doing all the fighting for you, this just becomes really easy. You know what? I'm going to leave all the fighting to those guys because the only god I see up here is me. Where did this guy come from? No, no, no. Please, no, please. I missed. How do I keep missing my attacks on this guy? This is the true final boss. But there he goes. Okay, right. I finished the raid. Right, please show me where I need to go. Hello, awakened man. Wait, what? Oh my god. I'm in like a new place. Where am I? <laughs> I'm in space. Hello, Thunder God. I have arrived. Give me pole V2. What do you need? Would you like me to teach you about pole V2? 5k? I mean, I've got to buy even more fragments, but sure. Now that I spent all my Robux, teach me. Bought pole second form for 5k. Okay, that's all well and good, but like, how do I leave? Do I just jump? Wait, I got to get my new pole on it least before i jump there it is a legendary sword here i go i just jumped where am i oh no was this a mistake there's no floor am i just falling like infinitely oh no i might have made a mistake oh i'm totally fine nothing to worry about there but now begins the grind of the pole second form and to do this we need to get 350 mastery and it's got a pretty unique stabby stab move i like this now we need to use this get mastery and then we're gonna take down a rubber fruit user just using rumble so the other pole that i had was doing like 50 damage or something this one wait 28 hang on a second this one's even worse. And it's supposed to be the V2. I've been scammed. He took 5,000 fragments and gave me a worse pole. Maybe it gets better when I get my first moves on it. And also maybe if I had some stats. But stats are for weaklings. I don't need them. We'll just use our new awakened rumble. We'll get them low. And then we'll just get like the final hit with the pole. Hello, Island Empress. Get over here. She's destroying me. Can I get some help over here? And there's Island Empress gone. So we got maybe over 100 mastery. In fact, we might have even got our first move. 125. We're so close to 150 getting the hand of God. But also a good way to get some mastery is we're being raided. The pirates are raiding the castle on the sea. In other words, free mastery. Yay, the castle has been saved and I got a grand total of zero mastery. And that's 155 mastery, meaning we've got our first move. Who can I test this on? Oh, hey, this guy's perfect. Here goes. Hand of God. Wait, what? It did nothing. It looked cool, though. We can also go test it on the water types over here because, you know, electric is strong against water. So this should do damage. Fishman Raider. Here we go. Hand of God. Oh, it's like a triple hit. Not bad. Not great either, though. I mean, it's very hard to tell when I've got literally zero points in sword. This is one of the craziest things I've ever had to do. Defeating Cake Queen with a sword, like, not leveled up is basically impossible. But that's 192 mastery, meaning we're getting even closer now. I do not understand, though, why this pole second form needs 350 mastery. Like, is this some kind of sick joke? I don't even know where the boss has gone. She's disappeared. Oh, there she is. Okay, give me mastery. Hand of God. Mastery 258, 277. This is absolutely soul draining, but we're getting close. All that it's going to take is a few more boss kills, like maybe like seven more. If I'm being kind, probably a lot more. And it took so long, but I finally got my awakening, which will mean that my pole actually does damage now, which is huge. So I can use this hand of God and yeah, 3k damage, bringing me to 290. Yay, mastery 300 and one. Only 50 more to go and we get electric prison. That's 328. We're so close. I can feel my life drain raining from me, but I'm so close. Yes, 353. I'm done. And my new move, Electric Prison, actually pretty good. Not worth 350 levels though. That was absolute agony. However, now that I've got all this, it's time to test a god versus the rubber fruit. Like there's no way I lose. And what better way to test this than against three rubber fruit users? I don't like my odds. Three versus one, I got this. Go. They don't stand a chance. Look at them with all their little rubbers and stuff. <laughs> They're all just flying around. Boom, take this light. Wait, what? That was perfectly on them. Okay, giant ball of death. It doesn't damage them. <laughs> I'm out of here. Lightning beast. Wait, can my pole damage them at least? Okay, the pole does damage. Wait, this isn't fair. <laughs> I was doomed to fail and there was three of them. Well, at the very least, we've got it fully awakened. But if you want to see what it took to become a max level phoenix, then watch this video on screen right now.